What's up guys? Welcome to Nelcal JDM Vlogs. It's Thursday afternoon. I am in the RX-7. I'm going to take it for the certificate of roadworthy now. They're going to make sure the car's okay, drivable, everything's fine. And I can get on the road with this licensing. So join me on this journey. It's going to be a quick one. I'm definitely holding thumbs. Okay, started up fine. Radio's working. Oil pressure's good. Let's go. So a little bit annoyed I just went through to the roadworthy place and they were unable to proceed with the testing because there's some paperwork that needs to be handed in and I don't know about that they've changed the laws so apparently with the NRCS which is the national regulator of compulsory services for South Africa so you need something called an EUCOC and this document basically says the car complies to specific standards by the EU and it's only required for a vehicle that is imported into Africa that is 1997-0101. Now I wasn't entirely sure that I needed this or not because my car that I imported, my R32 GTR, didn't require this documentation previously. So this is the only thing that I'm actually needing right now to carry on and get this car licensed. I've been driving it around, it actually feels pretty good. The rev counter doesn't work, as you can see. There's some capacitors that need to be replaced. Apparently it's a common issue on this car. My air conditioning doesn't work at all. Other than that, the car's driving okay, it's pretty solid. So dudes, driving around this car in its current form having an automatic is absolute sacrilege i'm not happy with it at all i'm dying to throw a manual gearbox on here but you dudes know that i'm going to be spending all my time and all my effort on the r32 gtr once this car is fully licensed so for the meantime this car can sit with an automatic gearbox it's not that bad it still drives it still works it's still an rx7 just hit 100 now just pushing the car around the corner like that I mean that was I went up to about a hundred there 100 kilometers now and on miles and it just felt like the car had no torque whatsoever uh, to me it feels like the second turbo is not working I need to get this boost gauge sorted out I haven't had a chance to pick up a holder so it's kind of sitting over there I can't see what it's doing um, I think you're supposed to look at it and the second turbo kicks in and the pressure drops slightly then goes back up. It's supposed to give you a boost pattern I think of 10, 8, 10 and obviously I can't see that right now. See the rev counter just came back up, that's working again but my oil pressure seems to be quite low, I must check that out. So dudes, in some other news, I'm picking up my R32 GTR tomorrow. As most of you know, it's been away, it's been at the dip shop, there were some issues with the plastic dipping, so they're busy fixing that now, it's going to be ready tomorrow. It's been three weeks that I haven't had the car, or just over three weeks. Now that I've managed to get the RX-7 in a condition that it's driving and able to brake and everything's working beautifully, I'm going to leave it for now and we're going to start with the project. R32 GTR, I'm going to start putting together my shopping list, getting stuff in order so that I can start building it and doing that 600 horsepower spec. I do have a couple of videos that I've planned, I've been planning on doing them for a very long time. I'm going to get those out of the way this weekend and next week and then from there I'm going to start doing some of the mods, DIY stuff and it's not going to be like the montages that I've been showing on the RX-7. It's going to be proper, guys, this is how you fit and install X, Y, and Z. So we're going to do that. 
Let's talk a little bit about this RX-7. I imported this car November last year, 2016, with the plan of keeping it as a project car, building it, making it better. So a lot of you guys have been commenting saying, get rid of that ugly as fuck, bail side wing, sort out the exhaust, it's a piece of shit, why is it an automatic? And I fully understand, but a lot of you guys have also missed my talks and discussions where I've said, I don't want to spend any money on this car. I don't want to spend money this year on this car rather. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm just cleaning it up and getting it sorted out, getting it past all these tests, and I'm going to pretty much leave the car and enjoy it for the year. That means no manual swap. It's going to stay in its current auto form for a while, and I want to work on the, on the GTR. Do it for the money, but that's one of the perks If y'all got the shovel, then I got